In today's video, we're opening a first edition Enemy of Justice Hobby Box. Alright, today we have a first edition Enemy of Justice Hobby Box all the way back from, I believe, 2006. So we're looking at super, super old, classic box i've never really had good luck with this set if you guys are old school viewers of the channel we once opened nine of these boxes basically in a row like it was an over span of a couple weeks and we essentially got nothing good uh it was pretty brutal so i'm hoping we break the streak here after last week's box break opening sold the duelist we're kind of on a hot streak so let's see if we can continue that well, let's open this thing up inside we would like to pull the elemental hero shining phoenix enforcer ultimate rare or the phoenix enforcer ultimate rare or the Destiny Hero Dreadmaster Ultimate Rare. Wild Wingman Ultimate Rare is pretty decent. Diamond Dude Ultimate Rare is pretty decent. I think that's a, no, that's a retail one. So I don't think we can get that, but uh, those other ones are available. So let's break this thing open. Let's get a little bit of luck <sighs> into the box. Uh, there's a piece of tape on my knife. Okay, here we go. Break that thing open. Very, oh, that was pretty smooth. Look at that knife. Nice and dirty, but doing the job. All right. Open this box. Can we pull something? Very nice. Enemy of Justice, first edition. Let's look, make sure how the box is looking. Looking pretty good. That'd be a weird box to get resealed. Enemy of Justice. I mean, it's pretty, it's fairly expensive now, but for a long time it was cheap. Like back when I opened all those boxes, they were 200 a pop. Like big cheap for hobby boxes of those. Uh, nowadays, they're more like a thousand ish for a hobby box. So pretty expensive compared to what they have been. Not too crazy. So, this should be a fun opening. If we pull the Shining Phoenix Enforcer, that's a huge pull. I mean, it's an elemental hero. It's the cover card. It's really, really nice. So that's kind of what we're aiming for today. Let's see if we can do it. See if we can make it happen. Michael. Oh, returning from last time. Two pack magic. Let's see if we can pull something good. GX has been uh, it's it's a brutal. It's brutal open GX sometimes, but it's been good to us recently. Let's see if we can continue that. Keep that streak alive. One, two, three, four. I mean, it's going to be hard to beat the Horus. That's one of the best pulls on my channel. But uh, I would not mind pulling something else amazing. We have Bountiful Artemis, Misfortune, the Destiny Hero Doom Lord, Avalanching Awesome, Cyber Kieran, Dimension Fissure, Swift Birdman Joe, and we have a Cyber Prima starting it off with a super rare. The thing with these GX boxes, a lot of the time, when you pull an ulti, it is also a super or an ultra that you already pulled. So Cyber Prima. Could be the ulti. Let's hope not everybody's, but it's a super rare. So we'll take that for Michael O. Not bad. Let's go to the second pack. Can we pull something awesome? Cyber Prima is decent. It's not crazy. It's decent. We'll take a super rare. Breaking out uh, from the beginning. Usually get about four supers, one ultra, two ultis, but that can vary. Sometimes you don't get an ultra. Sometimes you get uh, five supers, something like that. Okay, we have Senku. We have Destiny Signal. Pretty classic card. Cyber Tutu. The Grand Convergence, Blazing Ita, Icarus Attack, H Heated Heart, the D Shield, and we have a Banisher of the Radiance, which actually be a pretty good retail ulti. Not too bad. I think it's like a $50 card on ulti. Not too crazy in a rare, but it does have a pretty crazy effect, which does not uh, allow cards to be sent to the graveyard while it's on the field. So. Not too bad for Michael. He did get our first foil of the opening. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. We have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three LOB cards. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below what do you think about the pulls in this box and what would you want to see if you open a box of Enemy of Justice. Next up, Eric P with one pack. Let's see if you can get one pack magic and pull our first ulti of the video. Let's pull something crazy. One, two, three, four. I love pulling something crazy. It's very enjoyable. We have Destiny Signal, Battery Man D. E emergency call, elemental hero necroid shaman, swift birdman Joe, elemental recharge. We have royal Nate, the cyber Kieran, and okay, elemental absorber. All right, just a rare one pack magic not coming through that time for Eric B. But Eric, thank you for being here. Let's hope for better luck next time. Next up, we got the big fish Jordan H with five packs. Gonna try to go in for five. One, two, three, four. Number five, if you do want to get in on the next box break, when I post them, they will be on Ruxin34.com. They go first to the members of the channel, or it be Patreon members or YouTube members. So if you want to sign up for that, you guys will get early access and a $10 discount per pack, which is the price of your membership. So it's you basically pay nothing if you buy a pack and you save money if you buy you know two or whatever throughout the month. Okay, Jordan H, here we go. First edition Enemy of Justice. One foil pulled so far. Can we pull... 
an ultra in this set can we pull especially a big ulti like an ultra ulti would be huge not please not the uh voltanis knock on wood all right search light man we have the elemental hero mariner celestial transformation whirlwind weasel storming wind avalanching awesome oh oversoul macro cosmos crazy card from the set i don't know what's worth maybe it's a few bucks and we have guard penalty this this just reminds me of summoning salt mike tyson punch out videos yeah, i don't know why it just does uh okay next pack oh for one to start for jordan phoenix enforcer incoming let's hope so i'll take the ultra the ulti would be amazing because uh, i would love to one day pull all the cards you know just everything that'd be pretty cool and uh this is one we have not pulled one two three four it's probably impossible to do but it would be pretty awesome let's go misfortune search light man destiny hero doom lord cyber 2 2 oh oversoul the oversoul we have guard dog d shield a lot of things just like a lot of letters in this set swift bird man joe a harpy lady oh wait everybody is this the next card is this the is this the foil there's a lot of fusions in here so it could be a lot of things oh the elemental hero phoenix enforcer ultra rare so we got our first ultra which is usually there's only one so this is probably the only ultra in the box this is a very cool ultra rare i actually have a psa 10 ultimate of this my very i think it was my very first psa card ever that i bought so uh very nostalgic for me uh just because you know it's been like five years six years since i bought that pretty crazy to think about beautiful looking card not as popular as the cover card but still a very awesome looking card as well it's a combination of avian and burst into tricks i mean two of the classic heroes very awesome nice pull jordan h let's pull an ultimate rare we still have potential in this box one ultra one super we've opened five packs that's a very good start now we just need the shining phoenix enforcer ultimate rare and the dread master that'd be a heck of a box battery man d we got r righteous justice Grand Convergence. I'm not sure somebody has to have pulled this before, but I actually don't recall ever seeing anybody pull this card. So maybe the ultimate rare uh, Phoenix Enforcer, Shining Phoenix Enforcer. But I'm sure somebody has at some point. We have Destiny or Captain Tenacious and Life Equalizer. But I don't know. You guys know anybody that's pulled one? Two packs left. I'm sure somebody's done it over the years, but I don't actually know. The card is so weird. Why not just make Wingman? Because it's awesome. That's why. It's awesome. And you have to have a combination of all the heroes, you know, back in the day, they're like, why not just have a combination? All right, Cyber Gymnast, actually not a horrible card. Discard a card and destroy one face of attack monster and opponents on the field. I actually played this in my old school deck. It was, I still have the card in my original deck. You guys can go see my sixth grade deck. Uh, I have a video about it. Shattered Axe, Whirlwind Weasel. We have Our Righteous Justice, Layard the Liberator, Power Capsule, Elemental Recharge, a Heated Heart, and Harpy's Pet Dragon. That's a good retail ulti. That's pretty sick. That's a very, very cool Harpy's Pet Dragon. One, two, three, four. We have our Righteous Justice, Search Lightman, Bountiful Artemis, Misfortune, Destiny Hero, Captain Tenacious, Elemental Recharge, Layard, the Liberator. We're going to see a lot of the same cards. He's a very small set, only like 60 cards, I think. And Hero Flash. Man, there are a few good retail ultis. Like, they're just not big money. Like, they're cool, but they're just not, you know, big money or anything. But honestly, there's some okay stuff in the retail sets. That's, that's not horrible. Better than I remember, at least. Okay, next pack. This is pack number nine. So we're one third of the way through the box. We have Giraffe R. Well, some big. Two ultis in a box back then, like almost all the time. There's occasionally some differences. I think there was three in a Rising Destiny box or something. But I don't. Enemy of Justice, I've always pulled two. So hopefully that'll continue. Or maybe we can get three. That'd be cool. All right, we have Necroid Shaman. We have E, Emergency Call. That used to be a pretty nice common, but it got a lot of reprints. Battery Man D, Battleful Artemis, Storming Wind, Icarus Attack, the Avalanching Asa, Macrocosmos, two pretty solid commons in there, and Herald of the Purple Light. A pretty interesting card because it's not Herald of the Orange Light, which is really good. Not as great, but it's still, I think, an okay card. So one pack magic. Didn't quite happen for Giraffe, but thank you for being here, Giraffe. Okay, next up we have Aiden M with one pack magic. First edition pack. This is pack 10, I believe. Yeah, I think it's pack 10. Okay, come on, pack. Come on, pack. This uh not wanting to be open. That might be a good sign for everybody. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because we are going to be opening every pack ever made, including Enemy of Justice when we get to 250. We're almost at 241,000 right now. So if you hit that subscribe button, we can get there. That'll be 9,000 away, which is very close. Okay, Majestic Max Senku, we have Destiny Signal, Cyber 2-2, The Grand Convergence, a little solar system action, Swift Birdman Joe, The H-Heated Hearts, 
Destiny Hero Captain Tenacious. Elemental Recharge and... Okay, the Majestic Mech Oka. We pulled that in ulti a few times. Not too crazy, man. The ultis are really hiding out in this box. Unlike Soul the Duelist, where they popped out real quick. These are really uh, biding their time. Slow start once. Is it one super and one ultra? That's it? Very slow start. Next, we have Antonio O with two pack magic. The last two of the right side, which will be pack 11 and pack 12. Here we go. First edition pack. Can we pull something crazy? So far, we've I've pulled an ultra, which is good, but we haven't pulled any uh, ultimates, so we want to do that. Uh, backs, you're about set. Okay, six or seven, eight years ago. Not too bad. Okay. Elemental Hero Necroid Shaman, Battery Man D. Our Righteous Justice, we have Grand Convergence, Elemental Recharge, Liyard the Liberator, so many of the same cards. That's the thing I don't love about these kind of middle, middle of the pack, like early to right before the end of GX, they had a lot of small sets, like Light Destruction, Phantom Darkness, Stawn, Tactical Evolution, they kind of expanded the sets a little bit more, so it wasn't so many of the same cards. But what I might love about these is pulling Ultimate Rares, Okay, it's a super rare. All right, Majestic Meg Goryu. We'll take it. Okay, that's three suit or three foils, two supers, one ultra. Not horrible. We shall take it. Last pack of the right side. We still have another half after this. Will this be our first ulti? This would kind of be on pace if we got it. We have well, we have three out of six to seven foils anyway, so we're kind of on pace. We've just pulled the lower rarity ones. All right, Searchlight Man, Elemental Hero Mariner, Celestial Transformation, Whirlwind Weasel, Royal Knight. Storming Wind, Guard Dog, Power Capsule, and our first Ultimate Rare, the Cyber Phoenix Ultimate. See, this is not a huge one, but I do love the look of this one. Ultimate Rare, Cyber Phoenix, beautiful looking card. Centering is slightly pushed that way. Might be able to get away with it. The back does have a little bit of imprint, but not too bad. It's very, very clean. It's a very, very meant card from what I can tell. Definitely has a chance at a 10. I'd say it, it also has a chance at a nine because of the uh, the stamp and everything and the centering not being perfect. But I mean, two for two, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Maybe a PSA 10 potential, not a huge card or anything, but it is a very, very pretty card. So, you know, that's part of the cardboard collection, right? Not too bad. Two for two, Antonio. Congrats on that. Let's hope that we can get a bigger one for the second ulti. We'll see, though. Next half, we're at 178 likes. Hit that like button, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Nick P, I know he's in the chat. Good luck. Let's see if you can get the next ulti. One pack, two pack. There we go. Couldn't grab it. Let's start with pack 13. Is it lucky or unlucky number 13? Let's find out. Okay. One, two, three, four. We have Elemental Hero Necroid Shaman. Cyber Gymnast, Shattered Axe, Whirlwind Weasel, The Guard Dog, Power Capsule, Swift Bird Banjo, H.E. to Dart, and a Miraculous Descent. I feel like I've pulled that ulti before. Not the craziest card ever. All right, just a rare there. Let's try the second one. Let's get another four. We've pulled four foils so far. We'll probably get seven because we got an ultra and an ulti. It's likely we'll get seven, but not guaranteed. Sometimes you'll get six. Nick P. Destiny Doom Lord. Let's see if the next pack can bring us a Raging Area, Celestial Transformation, the Elemental Hero Mariner, cool Elemental Hero common card, the Royal Knight, Power Capsule, Storming Wind, Icarus Attack, and we have Icarus Attack is kind of a good card that I didn't even notice was in here, and Force Back. I actually played this back in the day too. Negate the normal summon or flip summon a monster, return the monster to the owner's hand. I used to play this in my old school deck. Nowadays, it kind of sucks. It's good if it's like a tribute summon, I guess, because then they have to tribute again. It negating the flip summon's not bad, but they can just set it again. You do have knowledge after that. Not an amazing card, but I did play it back in the day as a one of, uh, just because I love trap cards back then, you know, classic. Here we go. Send some luck in the chat. We have the legendary Michael S with four packs. Four packs. I mean, that's a good chance at an ulti here when we should have one more in this stack. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Let's get some luck. First edition hobby pack. We are now how many packs in? 14 maybe? So we're uh this will be six, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then we'll be two thirds of the way through the opening. Here we go. We have Misfortune. Search Light Man. Destiny Hero Doom Lord. This could have been a pretty cool like ulti or something. He kind of looks like the uh Destiny Hero Diamond Dude as well. He kind of looks like him. Cyber Tutu. 
Elemental Recharge, the H Unit Heart. It was cool how, how based around like Elemental Heroes and Destiny Heroes, everything was back then. Avaliching also, too bad they sucked. This was also a great card, Dimensional Fissure and... There's a Diamond Dude. Okay, he's just a rare, not a crazy card, but he is just a rare, very nice. So far we've had one ulti, one ultra, two supers. Should be some stuff left in this box before we're done. We have a Raging Area, Celestial Transformation, Elemental Hero Mariner, Grand Convergence, D-Shield, Guard Dog, Oh, Oversoul, Macrocosmos, and D-Time! We finally pulled the D-Time. This would be a pretty hilarious ulti to pull out of a retail box. The time for the D has been pulled. Two box or two box, two boxes, I wish. Two packs left. Still looking for that Shining Phoenix Enforcer ulti. One day we're going to get there. I mean, we have legitimately, I don't know if I've opened a box since those nine boxes. So if I haven't, we'd be at 10 boxes opened. We're almost at a case of hobby open. That's insane. And we still have not pulled it. We have Emergency Call. We have Batterman D. Bountiful Artemis, the Royal Knights, Cyber Kieran, Layar, the Liberator, Power Capsule, and... Majestic Oka. Okay, we're 0 for 3. Michael S., good luck on your last pack. Let's pull something, please, for Michael. Everybody send him some chat. Some chat messages. Send him some comments in the future in the video if you're watching this. If you send a comment now, it will help Michael in the past. That's how that works. One, two, three, four. We have Celestial Transformation. Destiny or Doomlord. Misfortune. Bountiful Artemis. D Shield. Swift Bird Man Joe. The Cyber Kieran. Dimensional Fissure. Legendary Clock Tower Prison. And no, I'm not talking legend legendary in a good way. This is legendary in a bad way. This is one of our early nemesis on the channel. We pulled this thing in ulti so many times. I have three PSA 10 ultimate rares. So I don't remember if we had others that weren't gradable, but that's at least three we pulled. That's the card. Michael, you have officially pulled one of our nemesis, uh, unfortunately. But it is a super. That's our fifth foil of the box. Michael S., thank you for being here. Next, we have Brandon M. with two packs. We're down to six packs left, guys. We've opened 75% of the box. We've opened five foils. There could be one to two more inside. Brandon M., good luck. Let's pull something crazy. Ultimate rare time. One, two, three, four. We have E. Emergency Call. Cyber Gymnast, Elemental Hero, Mariner, Necroid Shaman, O Oversoul, Macro Cosmos, Blazing Hita, Icarus Attack, and the ultimate rare, Majestic Mech Goryu. That is probably our last ultimate rare. Okay, anybody? I don't know the price on this, but I think it's probably around the same as the Cyber, uh, Cyber Phoenix. It's probably in the 20 to... 25 range. It's not crazy or anything. PSA 10 maybe could be get a couple hundred or something. So it's not like the worst ever. You know, you could get a little bit worse, but it is definitely not great. It's not a great card. Brandon M, congrats on the second ulti of the box. If you if you buy this and you get an ulti, it's great. Not great for the overall box though. So in this case, we now pulled six foils. There's probably one more super. I think now's the time we stop opening the packs. Unless there's somebody in the chat that wants the rest of their packs open. Uh, we have Cody G and Andrew O left, but it's probably just a super. So I think we probably in there. That's 19 packs. So we opened most of the box. Anybody in the chat? No, open mine. Okay, Cody G wants his open. So we will go for the last potential foil. Could be something besides a super, but we never really know. Let's go. So we're going to open 21 of the 24. It's not too shabby. For Cody, everybody send him some luck. Let's see. Let's just have a third ulti or something cool. Like... It's unlikely, but it is possible. True, it could be a super, could be a super. Could be a wild wingman, that'd be pretty cool. That's a super rare in here. Raging area, we have Whirlwind Weasel. Celestial Transformation, we got Shattered Axe. Cyber Kieran, Dimensional Fissure, that's a pretty good card. Storming Wind, Avalanche Yossa, and Herald of the Green Light. Okay, just a rare there, that's all right. Let's try the second one. Clock, look, a third ulti being a clock tower, I can handle that. If, they, if it was a third ulti, that would still it'd be like, okay, all right, it's not the best card ever, we'll take it. I mean, the thing is, clock tower, we hated on it back in the day, but I mean, it is pretty cool because it ults a Dreadmaster. Like, it's not a terrible spell card to get an ulti in. Uh, it's really not that terrible. We have Raging Area, we have Shattered Axe, Cyber Gymnast, Layard, Blazing Ita, Royal Knight, Power Capsule. Here we go, Cody. Get that last foil out of the box. Oh, 
the Diamond Dude. Hey, Diamond Dude, that's pretty cool. Diamond Dude rare. So that means they're in one of these last three packs, there's probably a foil of some kind. Thank you for coming out. It's been super fun and uh, enjoy your day. Shout out to Tolan Fo Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chengalang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.